So Alzheimer's disease, best thought of in the following way. There's a big asteroid headed to Earth, and it's going to destroy the planet. This is a big asteroid that's headed to Medicare and Medicaid, and it's going to destroy the healthcare financial system in about 20 to 25 years. It is simply unaffordable. What we have to remember is that 70% of healthcare expenditures in Medicare for chronic disease, of which Alzheimer's is growing to be the number one over the next 20, 25 years, and 40% of Medicaid is in nursing home care, a lot of that for dementia care, which is also going to take off like crazy. We need to address this as a public health catastrophe and a taxpayer and fiscal catastrophe. So the question is, are we going to set the incentives around development for an orally administrable pill that can slow the progression of Alzheimer's disease so that we don't have this awful dilemma in the future? Alzheimer's disease, we now know, starts 25 to 30 years before you're symptomatic with plaques and changes in your brain. We can begin to visualize that now. Not that anybody wants to know since we don't really have a good treatment. But when we develop a treatment, we'll begin to address Alzheimer's disease like we address cardiovascular disease. So we're looking for the statin for Alzheimer's disease. The drug that will slow the deposition of the plaque that's happening in the brain which is taking 30 years, so that instead of taking 30 years to get demented, it takes twice as long, 60 years, and then we're all dying of something else. So we can push the disease out that way. We can make a huge public health breakthrough. The 21st Century Cure Act is a chance for us to begin to address the diseases that we most need therapeutics in. Um, and my thought is, we must provide market exclusivity from the time the drug hits the market for say 12 years like we do for biologics now and we do for orphan drugs for a breakthrough drug that slows the progression of Alzheimer's disease. If we provided market exclusivity for an Alzheimer's drug that was an easily affordable pill that slowed the progression of Alzheimer's disease if we gave them 12 years of exclusivity, we would enormously increase the energy, the momentum that is in Alzheimer's therapeutics.